Michael Williams here, White Label Consulting. How are you doing? I'm back in the building. Um, let me uh let me turn on my lights in the background because none of my lights are on. And uh I use a software. Uh I use a software that allows me to control the lights in my room. So you will see here shortly that I am going to turn on all the lights because I need them to be on. Uh, do I have a color scheme yet? There we go. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with uh, cyan. How's that? Ah, uh, no, let's do green today. Uh, well, purple is my color. Uh, you can't really see purple though sometimes when you're in the uh, when you're in the studio. So yeah, now I feel better. Now we can start the video. Hey, I am going to play a video real quick. Let me load up this uh, intro, and I'm not gonna play the channel. Um, I'm actually going to loop out the, um, I'm actually going to loop out the, uh, let me see, let me click here. I'm actually going to play this real quick. Just that little bit right there. I, that little intro right there. I'm wondering, can we make that intro in CapCut? Cause I use CapCut to edit. I haven't done any CapCut tutorials yet. Can we make something like that in CapCut? I mean, I'm just, I'm just curious. Uh, is this possible? So, so let me pull up CapCut real quick. This is all kind of crazy. Let me put my title on again. This is Michael Wings White Label Consulting. Do I have the overlay on? I do not. That overlay. Oh yeah, overlay has to go above the title. So, uh, yeah, I'm rambling. This is what I do. Get over it. Uh, I do ramble a lot. So let me turn the title on. There we go. There we go. Michael Williams, right level consulting. I'm going to do a tutorial about this program too. Uh, it's a program to get free overlays for your podcasting. But right now, I want to see if we can pull this off. So I'm going to open up CapCut. I'm going to just move it over here. And I'm going to click Create Project and see if there's a way to duplicate something like that uh, within uh, CapCut. Just to make a quick video intro. Now I'm gonna pull up my uh, my logo. Where my logos at? I don't ever keep my logos organized. Um, this one right here. That's my logo right there. Uh, I'm gonna drop it in the timeline. So I'm gonna drag it down, and I'm going to uh, one. I need to change the ratio. I need this to be 16 by nine, uh, right there. Uh, so that's 16 by nine. I'm probably gonna make the logo a little bit um less. Uh. A little smaller, right? So now CapCut has a myriad uh, of different effects already built in. If you click on effects, right, and click on video effects up here in the upper left hand corner, and let me see, do I need to turn on my zooms and stuff? Yeah, that, we'll, we'll be all right. I'll zoom in post edit. If I click flash and I put it on the logo, um, you'll see that the logo itself is flashy, right? Now we need some movement. Now, when you click on trending, there are a bunch of effects already in here. And if you mouse over them, it shows you what they do. Now you can drop this on the timeline over the top and it will cause the logo to move, or you can drop it on the actual um, logo in the, in the upper right hand corner. You'll see the effects are listed and it tells you what effects you have on there. So if I don't want this flash on here, I could just delete it real quick and then that goes away. But you'll notice that I can click something that look similar just by dropping this on top of a logo and you know making a logo stinger for your um video channel is very important uh because you definitely want to have some type of intro now the one thing that you will notice is that it it does almost everything i wanted to do just off the top i just picked the flash and that's it i can go in here and edit the blur i can also edit this the strength and the glow the speed i can make it faster you know, I can do, you know, something where it really moves around. I could start this at the beginning of the logo stinger, right? I'm going to scale this back and I'm going to go to the front and I'm going to hit this to where that just comes in. Or I can move the logo over. I need to turn off the magnet or auto snapping so I can move this over a little bit. Um, actually turn off the magnetic track and move this over just a little bit and just put this at the beginning of the logo. So as it comes in, right, that's what it does. So it's kind of like just a kind of intro real quick. Now, another thing I can do is I can use um, animation, right? So obviously when I choose animation right here, um, if I click on the end 
a lot of these uh, animations, if you pick the wrong animation, it will create a square around your logo. And so the logo doesn't fly in naturally. It kind of looks like it's been cropped in and I don't necessarily want to do that. So if I pick this pro one, see how when it, when, it, when, it, when it animates in, it doesn't animate in from the entire screen. It only animates in from the, the bounding box, which is what I don't want. So if I click on another one, let's try this one right here. That kind of works a little bit. Not really cool about that one. Shake slide. Let's see how that works. Shake slide does the same thing. Zoom in. Okay, maybe zoom in. So zoom in allows the logo to get bigger and smaller, which is kind of something I want, right? So now when I do that, and then I can, I'm going to move this flash over just a little bit. I'm actually going to create something where it looks like a quick little logo stinger that I can use. Now you can use this not only for um, 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 your logo intro, you can also use this, right? If you were gonna create a transition where you can use a logo stinger if you had a background to use it to, trans to transition between themes. But right there, okay, I'm gonna move this flash over just a little bit. So, so right after the intro, it does a little bit of motion, right? Uh, let's see that right there, right there. And then I'm gonna shorten the logo stinger right and on my animation out um i can choose um a, a, a couple of different things you can choose zoom in which will play the same animation that you actually had uh that use it as an intro to zoom out the same way so i can zoom in and then it'll zoom out like that now if i wanted to duplicate that effect i could hold down alt and i can click on flash and, and drag it over but I think I want to try with I want to play with some of these glitches to see if some of these glitches, what it's gonna look like if I zoom and I glitch out. And somebody's like, this is random. Yeah, it is random. That's what we do on YouTube sometimes. We do some random stuff. That's a quick logo stinger. Now I'm not liking how that uh ripple effect is. Um, let me play with the speed and make it faster. Um, so let me go here. Okay, that's not too bad. That's a logo stinger. And really, to be honest, I don't know if I even need to have a static image, meaning that I may want this to move and, okay, that's my logo stinger. It wasn't exactly like the other uh, logo that I showed you at the beginning. Um, no, it wasn't, but I created something that I'm happy with. And that's the thing about uh, what you're doing. You have to create the scenario where you create something that you're happy with. Now, obviously that, that looks good to me, right? Um, now, one thing that we overlook in post editing is sound effect. So this first intro needs a little bit of a glitch sound. And let me see if I can pull this up. Uh, let's click it real quick. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. That's crazy. That was crazy. Sorry. Glitch sound. There we go. Okay. I like that one. You can tell by the timestamp on the actual sound, how long the sound is. This first one is one second, right? The next one is one minute. So I don't need one minute of glitching. I need like less than, so this is a glitch noise right here. This is 10 seconds. Uh, I don't like that. I like that one. So I'm gonna grab this one, right? I'm gonna hit the plus key and kind of find out if I can put it exactly where I need it to glitch in at. Okay, so it kind of fits like right here at the flash. And actually on this flash, I might need to speed this up a little bit so it agrees with the sound. Good. Now on the out, it's another out. That needs to be a harder glitch. Let me set these. Maybe this first one. Uh, no, glitch sound. Let me let me go back to glitch sound effect. Uh, no. Oh, no, that's that's terrible. Let me take off the word effect. The first ones I liked were easier. Glitch, okay, let me go glitch sound. There we go. Uh, let me try that one. Uh, no, 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 absolutely not. No, that's horrible. I'm just choosing sounds. Uh, no. Uh, maybe, no, no. Mm, no, absolutely not. Oh, maybe somewhere in this audio file, we might find something. Let me play this real quick. Maybe we can use this end right here going into the glitch out. Let me see. We'll just play it and see. Oh, yes. Um, And here we go. 
Um, so perfect. So here's my logo stinger I just made, and I've been recording for uh, how long? 10 minutes. It's probably took me five minutes to make. Okay, so let's see. So I think that second glitch is probably not going to work. That needs to stop right there. So we're gonna go like this. Uh, we'll stop right there. And I'm actually going to, when I click on the audio, there's a fade out option over here. I'm gonna fade out the audio so it does not like a hard fade out. There we go. Oh, wow. I think um, the glitch needs to stop right. The flashing needs to stop about right there. So I'm adjusting that. Ooh, y'all. Was that? Was, ooh, I need to turn off the overlay so you can see my face on that. Uh, like, ooh, that was, ooh, that was gutter right there. Ooh. Oh, let me just play it again. Hold on. I've been playing one more time. I'm sorry. I got excited for my own video. Look. Ooh, look at that. Now, one thing that the, the, the other gentleman had in his um video was he had like some kind of cinematic sound. It's probably going to be too short for, um, uh, it's a, this is a two second, this is a two second logo stinger. So let me just see. Nope. Oh, maybe we add that, right? And I can't see my screen cause I got too many things going on here. Uh, let me see if I, if I, let me just go right here. Let me see how this looks right here. And I'm going to actually bring this audio down completely and fade it out so it's a smooth fade out. I maybe need to do some cap cut tutorials because you know I'm I'm in the cap cut. Let me see let me see this go. Oh, that's almost good. Let me see here. Let's see. Here. Uh, let me see here. So I need to I'm gonna spread this out a little bit and see where I need to this needs to hit right there. So I'm going to drag this over to right there. So I'm lining up the sounds and let me see if this works. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. I just made the hottest two second intro that I've ever seen uh, on Monday, September 16th. So it, I may make another one tomorrow. But look, right there is a simple intro. I'm actually going to play this full screen and you watch it and tell me, is this not a nice little stinger intro? Look. That's perfect to put as an intro to your um, video. So you can do some dope stuff with the tools that you have. Now, I will say that I did use, um, I do use CapCut Pro. So you may have to play around with some of the free ones to get that done, but that's my video. That is how you make a two second loop. And the one thing you wanna do is you wanna export that and just keep that in your, I would actually go to export on my screen and I would make it 4K just so it's high quality. And I would call it logo stinger and I would include that in any one of your uh, videos. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna export it to my assets folder. Now you get to watch my new logo stinger play right about now.